What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. Um, like I posted on the community tab, I showed you guys the six videos I was gonna drop today. All got denied by YouTube. It is what it is, so I'll make this video. Hopefully they start manually reviewing them and I'll start dropping them accordingly. Anyways, um, so we're gonna talk about aftermarket parts for Glocks. I get the question all the time, so I like to make one video that I can just send the link to to people and stuff like that. Anyways, triggers. There's only a comp couple companies that I've ever used um, and I I've had issues with some. So my go-to for, if you're going to put on a carry firearm specifically, Apex, Wheaton Arms have never failed me. They're great triggers. Um, even just adding something like a Ghost Avenger connector. If you're looking to lighten up and also make your trigger pull more crisp on a Glock, the Ghost Avenger has been the best, most reliable connector. I've, I run that at my everyday carry Glock 26. It's amazing. And on top of that, what's really cool is when you go to clean your firearm and do a deep cleaning, you get over to that connector. That's the one shiny piece of metal in your whole entire fire that's a one clean thing it really is self-cleaning so that's the avenger not all the other models are self-cleaning but the avenger is and trust me you will love that trigger pull you don't need to do anything to the trigger shoe or trigger bar but if you did like i said apex wheat and arms i can't say i trust my johnny glock's trigger I, I just can't i've had issues i fixed it myself um but i had issues i gotta put do some more testing with it but i've had i have three apex triggers on a single issue i have one wheat and arms trigger not a single issue great great companies now for parts kits if you're carrying it obviously you got to stay oem um except for stuff like connects connectors and also you got to make sure you have a good brand apex makes good connectors too but for parts kits such as you know mag catch slide stop stuff like that if you want the metal ones or the colored ones glock store their parts actually function a little bit better than glock parts in my opinion that mag shoots out just a little more um that slide stop locks back in a more crisp way like their parts are so pre precise that they just they work and on top of that you can get the colored version same with pins um glock store now optic ready slides depends if you're looking for a budget slide live free armory hooper gunworks go to you can get yourself a budget slide for anywhere from 140 um, you know, $200 and it runs. It's just, it's one of those slides that, you know, are made just to run. They're not going to look the fanciest. They're not going to look the best. They're going to have a nice Cerakote to them, but they function, they run. Whereas I've had a, um, a lone wolf slide before that it was like $250. Wouldn't even run on my Gen 3 Glock 26. Um, I had an issue with that slide, which I'll make another video about, um, in the future. Now, also for slides, if you're looking for a more expensive slide, Kaplan Manufacturing and use their eBay store. People don't realize with eBay, if you go to their store online and then the eBay store, the prices are the same. The difference is on some eBay stores, they allow you to make offers on those parts. So they're not going to let you do that on their regular website. But if you go to eBay, you know, you may offer $10 less than what they're selling it for and they might accept. You know, you might offer a third, you know, a third of the price, but then they counter back and they say, oh, no, two thirds of the price. Now you just got a, um, a parts kit for two thirds of the price. Or like even my True Precision Barrel, I always tell the story. $60 brand new true precision barrel the color wasn't the best it was like the rainbow coloring but I made it work I made a sweet build out of it and it's a true precision barrel it's about function not necessarily looks um I've gotten awesome stuff in there Hooper Gunworks is a great store in there but if it's your everyday carry don't get a parts kit other than OEM except for the connector um the triggers that we talked about and so on sights I love my Ameriglow cap sights those are my number one go-to I have tried about 20 different Glock sight pictures in the last year Amerigold caps are my go-to. I now have them on four of my Glocks. I'm going to keep going, um, put them across the line so I have a similar sight picture. Now, when it comes to red dots, I only have one red dot for my pistol right now, and that's the Hallison 507C. I love it, um, but you have to have a certain kind of eye for it because I've had some people look through it, and they just see a, um, a green blur, basically, and they're like, why is it so big? When I look through it, I see all the hashes and then that small, tiny dot in the middle. When some other one person goes like this, they see one kind of green dot, they go like this, and they see it normal. It's like you just got to test these things. For barrels, I like um, Grey Ghost Precision, but they are expensive. If you're looking for a cheaper barrel, BCA, Bear Creek Arsenal, makes great budget barrels that function. They're accurate. The problem is I still have yet to clarify with them if they are plus P rated. I called them on the phone. The guy said, no, Bear Creek Arsenals are not plus P rated. But he wasn't 100% sure. I said, you work for them. Um, anyways, I have a bunch of Bear Creek Arsenal barrels on builds and everything. Never had an issue. Always ran. Um, I will tell you a story about a Wilson Combat Barrel that I had. Um, it isn't dropping. You have to modify it. I still have it, actually. 
Um, it is the best barrel I've ever used. I just haven't found it for color coordination, but Wilson Combat makes a great barrel. It is not dropping though. You have to modify it to fit your Glock and so on, uh, which is a little nerve wracking, but it does run and it's, it's a great um, barrel. Also, Hooper Gunworks, their fluted barrel. It's like 120 bucks. Awesome. Saves weight. Um, super accurate. Runs smooth. Never had an issue. Also, they make regular just, you know, like the Bear Creek Arsenal. They're not fluted. Just regular barrels. $60, $70. They have a great store online. Um, let's see what else. Magazines. Just wherever you can get them the cheapest. If you have a local store nearby, some stores buy big boxes of them. They don't even come in packaging. They just come in one box, all these magazines. That's where I like to get it for places that order, you know, 100 um boxes of magazines and just set them out and just say grab them those are the best places but if not um i've seen some good deals online you just gotta look around for magazines they're all over the place for my grips i use handle it edge series grips there is no grip like it for your firearm um what i always tell people it feels like rubber when it's rubbing against your body but when you're gripping it it feels a little less hard than the sandpaper it's like the perfect texture that's a handle it edge series grips you can use code spn25 for 25 percent off don't get any other kind get the edge series um let's see i think we covered it all but anyways oh yeah frames glock frames if you want to make your own build using a glock frame big text ordinance look it up you can get a glock 26 frame on there for about 60 dollars. you can get a glock 43 frame on there for about 60 dollars. they're oem frames you don't have to drill um the pinholes are set perfectly and they basically run with any parts you put on them as long as you get a good parts kit i'm um, trying to think what else i think that's oh yeah guide rods I'm in a rough place with guide rods right now because I've had so many issues in the last year that I've never had before. So for instance, the lone wolf guide rods, trash. They unscrew themselves. They become loose mid-shooting. Um, I shot 150 rounds through a Glock 27 um, build in about two minutes or a minute and a half. By the end of that, that guide rod was almost unscrewed. In the, you can watch the video. I have it up. 150 rounds, all these extended mags. My build ran smooth as can be, but that guide rod was so close to screwing itself off. made me nervous. I said, forget that. Also, I was running it through my uh, Transformer Glock 26 build. Same thing. Different guide rod, same thing. Unscrewed itself. So I stick to the Avalanche Arms. Avalanche Arms makes the best guide rods. I'm telling you, they're a smaller company, but they work. And when you rack that slide, you can just feel the difference of how smooth um, there's nothing, no friction, nothing grinding, nothing rubbing. It's just a smooth, smooth guide rod. Plus it adds that weight for recoil control. I did get the tungsten guide rod from the Glock store and I did have issues with it. Now I was using an aftermarket slide, but I did move it around to different firearms. I ended up throwing it away. I don't know what the problem was with it, but when I called, once again, your guide rod wasn't installed by a gunsmith. Nothing we can do. And it's a bummer when you spend $70 on just a guide rod and you have issues with it so glock store you know they make a lot of great parts i had a bad experience like i said aftermarket slide didn't work on my stock slide either so i don't know if i got a faulty one or what also um when i got a hooper gunworks which i love all their slides i love their barrels they make great great parts their glock 43 parts kit i got the metal guide rod that came with it and it didn't sit properly on the barrel which is an oem barrel didn't sit properly and so you would feel this grit and this grind as you would rack the slide. And after so long, it chipped away at the guide rod and basically ripped some of those coils and ruined it and started causing malfunctions. I couldn't even, get, it's actually pretty crazy. I couldn't get my Glock 43 slide off my Glock 43. I had to take a very, very thin punch. And as we all know, Glock 43s are known for that little gap they have. I had to get a very thin, flat punch and get under, lift that guide rod back up because it was stuck, because it was dragging, because the metal was bent downward where those two indents are. Um, it was kept catching, so it bent it, and it stuck. So I could not take that slide off. It was a disaster. I honestly felt like I was ruining my whole build. Um, it felt terrible trying to get that slide off. It When you take tools to your firearm, it's a little nerve-wracking, let's be honest. But it, I s immediately switched to an OEM guide rod, no grit. It's clear as can be, super smooth, and so on. But, yeah, that's my uh, basically where I get all my parts for, what I trust, what I use. Um, as you can see, my Glock 26 build is nothing special. Um... It's an Apex Trigger, Ghost Avenger Connector, Handle at Edge Series Grips, Millspin Weighted Base Plate. Oh yeah, Millspin's a great place for back plates and base plates. They make awesome, also SLR Rifle Works Base Plate for Glock 26s, 19s. They make them for everything in 9mm. I don't think they make them for 40 yet, but SLR Rifle Works, check them out. I have a video on them if you want to watch them. Uh, Strike Industries Base Plate, super ergonomic, goes really good with the Gen 3. Um, adds that third finger groove, it feels perfect in the hand. 
um, Henning Group for base plates. Henning Group makes <clears throat> super underrated parts. They make great sights. They also make base plates that hold more rounds per, you know, space, basically. Um, love them. Have one for my 27 and my 26, so they do make them for 40 and so on. Um, yeah, that's base plates. Back plates, like I said, Millspin makes awesome back plates. If you just want something funny, I stay away from the dark stuff. Stuff talking about shooting, like the person who looks like they're peeing logos, the Punisher logos, I stay away from that. I try to keep mine like cool, like clouds that's on my everyday carry Glock 26 or the American flag in black um, and so on. They Also, the Daddy Shark, if you ever see my Glock 26, it says Daddy Shark, do 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 on the back of it. I thought that was cool. You know, my kid's favorite show. So, but yeah, that's my list for where I get all my parts, my slides, stuff like that. And I'll drop those videos as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.